Well guys, we're here at the water's edge and we're gonna test the pontoons. But it's kind of deep right here, so I'm gonna find a nice shallow spot that's secluded with not too many waves. And uh, I might accidentally do a little fishing too. So you never know. Well, to Patrick, the winner of the contest, I hope you don't mind me getting your kayak wet. <laughs> I'll tell you this, it's comfortable. It's really comfortable. <laughs> I kind of figured that standing up would be a piece of cake with this seat that I got, and it is. And I worried that there might be a little uh, less stability because of the higher center of gravity, and there is. So if all my suspicions continue to be correct when I add the pontoons, this is going to be a much more stable kayak than it was when it started out, and it's going to be easy to stand up in. Now if I could just stop fishing and get out there and put the pontoons on. <laughs> Forgive me, I have a problem. <laughs> Looks like a uh, good a spot as any, I suppose. It's really shallow. And that's all I really need is a couple inches. <laughs> Insert joke here. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, I'm going to test these out and see how they float. And once I got them in the right position, then it'll be time to glue them on. You know, it's really not too bad as far as the depth is concerned. You know, they're kind of riding right on top of the water. And, um, you know, when, when you push on it a little bit, you, if it started to roll towards that direction, it's going to submerge a little bit. And then while you're just paddling along, it'll be riding right on top of the water. That's pretty much ideal. I mean, yeah, I like that, you know, because it still adds a little stability uh, and it'll prevent you from rolling, but it will also uh, make it so that uh, it'll be easy to paddle. There won't be that much uh, resistance. So, hmm. yeah, this might just do it. Now what I got to do, because I know it's floating at the right height, I gotta make sure it's oriented with the line of the kayak. And what I mean by that, you can see the way it's kind of going off in that direction right now, as opposed to running down the line right here. Let's put them both on. See how that works. Okay, a little slight adjustment. I can adjust that by one like that. There you go. Yeah, when this elbow right here turns forward, it makes the front of the uh, pontoon turn as well. So just stand around and look at it. If it looks slightly crooked, make an adjustment. And if it... Okay, well, 
now that I have them where I want them, the next step is to take a magic marker and mark where everything has to be. I'm going to make a little mark on the square part of that Scotty stem and another mark on the top of the elbow. And this one is going to align with that one. Okay. Now I have to take this apart and glue it on. it. That should be set. Now we get to see whether or not these work. <laughs> Looks good to me. And one of the things that I was going to look for was to make sure that the pontoons would dip into the water as I lean towards one side or not. You know, I wanted them to catch me before it allowed the kayak to roll too much. Felt like that was working pretty good. If not, I would have had to make the stems longer. And while I was sitting, I wanted to make sure that the paddle heads weren't hitting the pontoon. That was working pretty good too. Now, I'm a small guy, but... <laughs> I'm still able to jump up and down and not really fear about falling off. So that means an average guy should have no problem standing at all. And you can see even if I stood on the very edge of the kayak, it leans a lot. But it didn't feel like it was going to tip over. I wouldn't attempt that without the pontoons, that's for sure. It's always a real shock and surprise when you put pontoons on your kayak how stable it really becomes. In my opinion the additional stability is always worth any little extra resistance you might get while paddling. Okay well the only thing left to do really is uh, today at least is to see if I can catch fish from this. <laughs> Definitely noticing more stability and better tracking. Oh, seems fish catchability is good too. <laughs> oh. I've already got my quota for uh, hooks in the in my flesh, so let's not increase that any, okay? <laughs> Okay, now that we're back from the water, I've got my pieces here glued in. And one thing I noticed, which is kind of neat, this part here, you know, in the previous uh, segments, is held together with a singular bolt. Let's see if I can get this out. And 
there's really no chance of that backing out because this is not going to spin around and around, but it does go back and forth. Look at that. I didn't anticipate that. Anyways, that's pretty cool because, um, again, it's not going to come off, but what it's going to do is as it rides over the water, it'll follow the waves and that'll, it'll continue to add support. So I think it's going to work just the same, but it's um, also going to have a little flex to it, so it might be less likely to break. That is pretty interesting. You never know what you're going to encounter sometimes when you do things like this. Anyways, um, yeah, now I know where the position is, even though it moves. This part is going to remain the top no matter what. So I'm just going to make a little mark right here. Well, as far as carving is concerned, there really is no right or wrong way to do it. So I'm not going to really make this part of the video uh, instructional because if you like carving, you know what I'm talking about. You just kind of like wing it. There's no measurements I can give you or anything like that. The only advice that I can give you is that do what you like, you know? I'm going to make mine look like this uh, Catch 2000 lure. Um, in the past, I made this one look like the Head and Super Spook Jr. And I like the tiki style, so maybe that will affect the way that I carve, um, you know. But do what you like if you want to carve your own pontoons. Um, so aside from that, the only advice I might give is make it aerodynamic so it cuts through the water really nice. So um, that being said, let's give you a little montage of me carving up these pontoons. Let's see what we got. We got hammers and rat tail files yeah that one's not too sharp but that'll do close them chisels no sandpaper yeah what is that 60 grit that'll do and what else have i got let's see um da -da -da -da. Ah. maybe i can use this to carve my styrofoam you better not use my cheese grater to make another one of your stupid carvings. Now you see why I'm single. Over here I got a piece of plexiglass and I'm going to cut that up and attach it to the pontoons to further enhance the tracking of this kayak.
Now I've got the kayak lined up with the floorboards in the living room, which are lined up with the tiles in the kitchen. And that's gonna help me find the parallel line of this boat. And I'm gonna use this seam in the wooden planks of the living room floor, which have been beat up by the dogs over the years. But I'm gonna use that right there where it lines up with the pontoon. And I'll be able to get a mark on the pontoon that is practically exactly parallel with the kayak. This is gonna be a very important step. So that's why I'm going through all these panes to make sure that that line that I just drew is exactly parallel. Because if it was slightly off, the kayak would turn while I was paddling along. Well, there's the skeg on the pontoon and the eyes are glued on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some caulking and fill these deep gaps in the seams where the two halves were glued together and around the eyes and around the uh, PVC if there's any deep spots. And that's going to be prepping this thing for paint. And then after it's painted, I'm going to put some fiberglass resin over it uh, and cloth maybe a little mat on the bottom and I'm all prepped for that. I've got my mixing sticks and a scale, cups, and uh, I should have enough brushes, I'm not sure, but um, we'll take that, uh, we'll, take, we'll take that step in the next video. In the meantime, <clears throat> I'm gonna, like I said, get these things prepped for paint and I still have to go to the store and buy gloves and uh, there's a whole bunch of things to do. So I'm gonna end this video now but don't worry, I'll be right back soon and we'll get these things finished and looking pretty cool with a nice paint job on them. And uh, we'll be a lot closer to finishing this kayak. See you next time.